Hi guys, this is just a really quick tutorial to show you a free workaround uh, if you're having problems getting your audio um, out from Final Cut Pro X into Logic um, and getting something similar to what I'm getting here which is just a complete mess. This was just a, a straight XML export and then XML import. Um, even after you've tried assigning roles to your uh, audio clips nothing seems to work um, I was just banging my head against the wall um, until I've worked out this workflow so uh, all you do is you go into your project you file export out your XML you can just call it whatever you want um, we'll just call it untitled project export that out to the desktop We're then just going to open up DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so uh, once we're in DaVinci Resolve, we're just going to go File, Import XML. Choose the one that we've just saved out. Check your settings. You just need to relink up your media. Okay, so in Resolve, here we have um, the transposed audio setup. So everything has come across here properly. Now we're just going to use Resolve to export the XML. And we're just going to change to Final Cut Pro XML version 1.3. Save this to the desktop. I've, one, I've created one now already when I was testing it, so I'll just overwrite it. Okay. Now we don't need Resolve anymore, so we can just quit out of that. Pop over here. We just want to go over to Logic. Let's just create a closed project. Actually, let's create a new one. We'll close that. Okay, so now once once we've got our new uh, exported XML, we're just going to open it up in here. You can either go uh, import XML or just file open works as well. We'll do it this way. Choose the file that we've just exported. Now, for some reason, this comes up. Um, it doesn't seem to affect anything. Um, so we're just going to switch it to zero so, because we don't want it to resample um, the audio files. And there we go. So we've actually got a proper layout of our audio. Everything seems to work okay. And now we can just import our movie. We'll just quit the one that it's um, it's imported by itself because it doesn't seem to work all that well. File open movie. We'll go to the desktop. This is just um, a ProRes, uh, ProRes 422 proxy, which I've exported from Final Cut Pro. Um, it's just so that we can uh, basically import it and work with it. Let's just move that down. Move it to a workable size. Okay, and then we can just mute this, this video audio. We can have it there as a reference if we want it. Um, and away it goes. Everything seems to work well. I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you did, please like the video below. Um, considering subscribing, I'll, I'm going through film school at the moment, so I'll be uploading little workarounds as I come across them uh, like this. Um, and yeah, don't forget to, to subscribe. Thanks very much.